nature of God. So once in a while, we need God to do repairs on us, and it's called healing. Amen. You know, healing, it also comes to the area of being restored to the original state. Either physically or supernaturally. Wherever we have been damaged, the power of God moves in. Healing is to be set free from demonic oppression. To be healed is to be made whole. There were lots of times that people went to Jesus and Jesus said, be made whole. Man is a trapper type being. Be made whole. Paul the apostle said, be sanctified in your spirit, in your soul, in your body. It means that these three areas, we can be sick. Our emotions, our spirit, and our bodies. This morning, I'm believing God to touch every area of our life. Amen. You know, the will of God is to bless us with good health. Mm. The will of God is to bless us with sound mind. Mm. Like 3 John 2 says, Dear friends, I pray that, that all may go well with you, that you may be in good health, just as your soul is prospering. This is what the apostle said. And 1 
1 Peter chapter 2, verse 24, the Bible says that Christ carried all our sins in his own body on the cross so that freed from our sins, we could live a life that has God's approval. For by his stripes, by his wounds, we have been healed. Praise the Lord. Now there are different types of healings that I'm going to be praying for us this morning to believe God for a miracle. There is something I call financial disease. When you need financial healing, if you are not careful, you remain poor throughout your lifetime. And one of the ways that God delivers us from financial disease is to give your tithes and your offerings. And sometimes it goes beyond that when you are being attacked financially. The anointing has to come through your situation to break that yoke for financial favor to rest on you. Praise the Lord. Look, you look at some families, no matter how hard they work, they still cannot produce any better fruit. Said people need financial healing. Praise the Lord. I say praise the Lord. You know, when your heavens are closed, it has to be open. Sometimes by provoking the attention of God, by uncommon seed that you plant. Praise the Lord. Then we also need healings in our physical bodies. That sometimes when it's not happening, some people begin to doubt the integrity of God's word and his power. I want to announce to you today that God is still healing his physical bodies. If only you can believe that you can see the glory of the Lord. For the book of Isaiah says that he took away all our infirmities, all our pains were laid on Christ. And also in Matthew chapter 8 from verse 16, the Bible says that he took all our infirmities, he took all our diseases, and he brought us healing. God also wants to heal us in our mind. Too much stress, mental problems in the world, lack of concentration. I've been to lots of places to preach that people were having problems with their mental retention of information. And hands were laid on them and they were released and later they came with testimonies. They tried to learn. Everyone has got the ability to learn. But these people could not retain information and God granted a miracle solution. I don't know what is troubling you, but the Lord will grant you a miracle solution. Say amen. amen. And sometimes our healing can be in the area, or our disease can be in the area of bad relationships. You meet good people, but within the shortest time, then it's scattered everywhere. The relationship cannot be stable. Like the woman from Samaria. It can happen also to a man. Until Jesus came in, then stability came in his relational life. Praise the Lord. Sometimes the enemy can attack your relational life just to frustrate you, just to harass you, just to bring pain in your life. But this morning, I believe God is going to touch us. Amen. We need healing also in our destiny. Mm. Every human being was born to fulfill a purpose. Mm. But when your destiny is affected, Sometimes you cannot produce results in life. Then you become a follower instead of a leader. Mm. I believe that each one of us is born to lead others. Praise the Lord. Amen. You were born to fulfill a purpose. Yeah. When destiny is affected, then it brings delayances. Mm. But the Bible says that in everything there is a season and there is a time. Mm. But if certain things are coming at the wrong timings, then it means that you have been attacked. Delayances in marriage, delayances in prosperity, delayances in favor, delayances in connecting with certain people at the right place at the right time. To this morning, God is removing obstacles. Amen. I think the power of the Lord will remove obstacles Amen. for you to fulfill destiny, destiny. There was a brother that lived called Jabez. When you read through the book of First Chronicles, chapter 4 from verse 9. Jabez was born 
from a royal family. But one way or the other, instead of he prospering, he was going very slow, facing pain. And Jabez, according to 1 Chronicles chapter 4, verse 9 to 10, the Bible said Jabez was more honorable than his brothers. And his mother had named him Jabez, saying, I gave birth to him in pain. Jabez cried out to God, to the God of Israel. Jabez said, Oh, that you will bless me and enlarge my territory. Let your hand be with me and keep me from harm so that I'll be free from pain. And the Bible say God granted his request. God granted his request. Jabez was not satisfied with where he was in life. Jabez did not take that pain as a no. Jabez did not accept the stories that were told him. And the Bible says that Jabez prayed to God for deliverance. He prayed to God for answer. He prayed to God for healing. And God heard him. There's somebody hearing my voice this morning. You've been going through truth, through pain. For the last 10 years, you have been through pain. When we say pain is pain. Most of the times you cry in the night. But God is saying that your prayers are answered this morning. You will begin to laugh instead of pain. Because of your pain, you ended up in smoking. Because of your pain, you became an alcoholic. But the Lord is changing you this morning. The power of the Lord is going to restore you for your real beauty to come out. And people will see and know that this is the hand that the power of the Lord. Wave your hands and say, yes, Lord, I will see. You know, sometimes our genetic line or our generational line the line that you were born can be affected with disease. Mm -hmm. You know, there are some families, uh, each one of us, you look through that family, everyone is a thief. Mm. Everyone steals. Mm. It means that the generational line is cursed or affected. That it needs the healing power of God. There are some generational line, you look at it, yeah. you know, there are some diseases. Mm. Everyone is poor. Everyone, you know, starts well, but they end very bad. It's not a norm. Praise the Lord. When the blessings of the Lord come upon our life, the Bible says, even in our old age, we have to produce fruit. Say, I catch it. Even in our old age, we have to produce fruit. We, even in our old age, we have to produce fruit. Every disease in your generational life, the power of the Lord is going to restore it. He said, Behold, I do a new thing. And it shall spring forth for all to see it. God said he's doing a new thing. 2 Corinthians 5, 17 says, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old things have passed away, and behold, the new things have come. Yeah. When you give your life to Jesus, he says that new things have come, and old things have passed away. Yeah. Every disease in your bloodline, all the troubles in your bad bloodline, yeah. no marriage attitude in your bloodline, that asthma in your bloodline, premature death in your bloodline, jail spirits that bring embarrassment in the lives of people in your bloodline. The healing power of the Lord is bringing restoration in the name of Jesus Christ. For you are a new creation. If you can believe this morning, the same Jesus is in this house. The Bible says some time ago, Jesus was in town and they brought people with diverse kinds of issues, demonic problems and sicknesses and named them and he healed all of them. He delivered all of them. The will of God for us this morning is that every one of us have to be free. If the Son therefore says and free, you shall be free indeed. The day for our freedom is today, not tomorrow. Why are you saying tomorrow? It's now. I believe in miracles. I believe that we are for signs and for wonders. Stand with me, everyone. Praise the Lord. Repeat after me. Say, Dear Lord, Dear Lord 
I believe in your mighty power. I believe in your mighty power. I believe in your healing. I believe in your healing. I believe in the work you did for me at Calvary. I believe that you were I believe that you came so that I will receive life. I believe that you came so I will receive and receive it more abundantly. And receive it more abundantly. This morning, this morning, I yield myself to you. I and I say, touch me. I say, touch me. Repair my life. Restore my life. Restore my life. Let light flow Let light through my bloodline. Through my bloodline. Through my name. Through my name. In the name of Jesus. Change my life. Change my life. Make me a better person. Make me a better person. Shake my weaknesses into your strength. Into your strength. In my moral life. In my moral life. Wherever I am sick. Wherever I am sick. Touch me today. Touch me today. Cleanse me from every form of uncleanliness. And make me pure as white as snow. In the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit. Quicken me. With the resurrection power. I receive my healing. I receive my deliverance. Today. And not tomorrow. Every hindrance. That was placed in my way. Today in the name of Jesus. I command them to bow. I command them to bow. I command them to bow. That stone on the way. Be rolled away. By the power of God. I receive my freedom. I'm rising up. From that death grave. To the place of the living. Now is my time. To shine. In the name of Jesus. Let the rains come on me. The rains of healing. The rains of prosperity. The rains of destiny. The rains that bring change. The rains of restoration. Pour it on me. Pour it on my family. Pour it on the work of my hand. Pour into my education. Pour on my children. Pour it to God. Let the fire of the Lord purify. Restore, cleanse me, shake the devil's out. This very hour, in the name of Jesus, every form of drug addiction, let the power of God break it as hands are laid on me. Let me receive my freedom by the power of the Holy Ghost, in the name of Jesus. If you feel you need prayer, you can just line up and come here. The Bible says that we shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. I feel the recovering power of the Lord moving all over this place. Matara Mosuri Andrasti Makapelosti Frenidi Stakro Abadistia Makataya. Oh, if you can believe, then you will see his glory. Come on, you are no secret in Abada. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Be healed. Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Let your mighty hand. In the name of Jesus. I will Jesus' name. Heal. Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus, we send the healing power of Jesus' name to the man of God. In the name of Jesus, command the lungs be clear. In the name of Jesus, through this lady and her sister, be healed. In the name of Jesus, I will heal every infirmity. Jesus, from your friends, your sister, your pastor, Jesus, be healed. Be healed and be delivered. In Jesus' name. Jesus name. Okay. Father God, 
in the name of Jesus, from the top of your head to the soles of your feet, in the name of Jesus, and every infirmity, in the name of Jesus, your Jesus name. Lose your hold. Jesus' name. Lose your hold. In the name of Jesus. Command strength from the top of your head. Jesus' name. The soles of your feet. Jesus' be healed. name. Heal. And be made whole. Jesus' name. Jesus' name. Jesus name. How great you are, O God. In the name of Jesus. In the name 
from the top of your head to the soles of your feet. Be perfectly whole and free from every disease. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus'
testimony. Give him a testimony. Make his ministry a success. Make his ministry a success. Make his marriage a success. Make his marriage a success. Make his life a success. Make his life a success. We pray long lives we pray long life. and good health. And good health. Sickness, Sickness will never, will never dominate, dominate over your body. Over Weakness, Weakness will never, never dominate over you. over you. You will never go under. Never go under. In the name of Jesus, Jesus. you be a blessing to the body of Christ. The body of Christ. A blessing, a blessing to your family. To your family. A blessing, a blessing to society. To society. And a threat. And a threat. To the, and a threat. And a threat to the satanic kingdom. The satanic kingdom. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. For hearing this prayer. For hearing this prayer. In Jesus' name, we pray. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen. A clap offering unto Jesus. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs>